All right, so we're going to take a look at GIMP 2.8 today. And, you know, I've been using GIMP for maybe about three and a half, four years. Um, you know, I'm really digging this new release. I like it a lot. So when you first launch uh, GIMP, you should have multiple windows, you know, three, three at least. I only have two. If you're not aware of this, you can modify the UI a little bit. Um, whatever tools you have on, on either side, you can drag out and consolidate. You know, I mean, you can put it into one little box like this. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, anyways, that's how I have it set up. Um, this is how I prefer to work. Um, for those of you who are kind of like set in your ways, you don't want to use a single window mode. You don't have to use it. It's just an option. It's just there for you to use. So that's pretty cool. Uh, however, if you're using Unity, like which is this desktop environment that I'm using, I do recommend you know using the single window mode because it's kind of quirky. Like if you minimize the program, it doesn't minimize all the way. Uh, if you're using HUD, which is this little run command feature, you're constantly having to click on the uh, the canvas layer or this little section right here for HUD to work properly. You know what I mean? So if I click over here and I run HUD and I type in a command, it doesn't really register. I have to be making sure that I'm focused on this. So when you uh, go to your single window mode, uh, all those problems pretty much go away. So I can minimize and you know, HUD should work properly now because it's all one piece, you know what I mean? Also, <clears throat> with the UI, you can still manipulate it a little bit, you can still modify. Um, even though it's one window, you can still separate like this or move it over here if you wanted to, like that. So anyways, let me uh, drag in a picture right here. Come on, there it is. So one feature they added is the cage deformation or cage transformation, which is uh, this right here. All right, let me duplicate this layer. Oops, there we go. So what you do with this is basically just uh, select the image or a portion of the image with these little nodes. And I believe you're limited to the amount of uh, clicks you can make, I guess, or nodes. So you can't, you kind of have to use it sparingly. You can't go crazy with it. All right, so now it's selected, and you just uh, drag the little nodes out like so. As you can see, little by little, the, the nose is getting a little bit bigger, right? But see how I'm, I'm clicking on each one individually, like so? Uh, if you want to do multiple, say like uh, these two right here, you can click and drag to highlight, oops, like so, and drag two at a time, or three at a time, or four at a time which is pretty cool. I like that a lot. So anyways, um, it's not perfect. You still got to do some cleanup afterwards. So if you hit enter to finalize, you're probably going to see some hard edges like color, color de uh, deformation or whatever, pixelization or whatever. Um, you still got to clean that up, right? So for that, you know, use the, uh, the healing tool. And I think the healing tool got an improvement because it does work a lot better now. Uh, just hold the, uh, or I mean, sorry, uh, was it alt? No, control, sorry. And, um, you know, just fix whatever you need to do. So that's pretty cool. Now I'll show you the difference right now. So I can kind of see people having a lot of fun with this, you know what I mean? Making people's uh, bellies, I guess, all fat or, or eyes all weird or whatever. Oops, that's way wrong. Anyways, that's just something real basic. Kind of see the before and after a little bit. <laughs> but anyways, um, also, you can open up multiple projects and have them in tabs, which is really cool. I, I like that a lot. Um, it's really good for workflow. And that's one thing I, I noticed about this release. It's, it's kind of more of a workflow release, right? Single window mode, uh, grouping of layers, uh, tabbing with projects. You know what I mean? It, it's, it's all about the workflow. And that's what I, I, I've been waiting for, too. It, you you should feel more productive with this release. So so not now that I have this open, right, I can manipulate whatever I got to do in here and also work in here as well. I can go back and forth between the two, uh, finalize this this project or copy a part of this and, and move it over to here if I wanted to as well. Um, also with the grouping layers, right, if you go down here to the bottom, you should see a little folder. Click on that and just basically just uh, drag your layers to make a group. 
and whatever you do within that group, we should stay within that group, you know what I mean? So it kind of keeps it separate from other stuff like the background or whatever image you're working with. You can click on here to, you know, to uh, decrease or increase the, what's it called, the spanner or whatever you call it. But anyways, that's, that's another feature. Close it off. And close this off. Let's go ahead and make a new uh, file new. And something else is pretty cool is the uh, the new brushes, brush features, I guess, the dynamics of the brushes. Like when you draw something right, you can go to the little options uh, section right here, then go to uh, dynamics, and like pick like pin generic or whatever. So when you draw, I don't know if you can see that or not, there's like a little bit of a velocity to it, right? So if I go really slow, it's like kind of like, you know, thick. If I go faster, it gets thinner. A lot like a tablet, you know what I mean? So if you don't own a tablet, you can kind of get away with, you know, by using this. Um, you can also change the aspect ratio, the angle of it. Uh, the size is easier to work with. I, I have been using a tablet with this new GIMP, and, and using the tools with a tablet is a lot easier. You know what I mean? Like, see how, like, this little orange thing right here? Uh, when you're using your stylus, it's easier to grab onto. You know what I mean? So if, if you have a tablet, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, um, let's go down here. Also, the tilt angle you can change as well. Let's uh, grab this. There we go. So here's a little uh, brush right here, right? You can change the angle if you wanted to, like so. Or go back the other way. That's pretty cool. Because before I had to like actually go out and look for a, <laughs> a brush that was the right angle that I needed. Now you can do it all on the fly. So anyways, um, that's pretty much I can really go over for now. I'm going to go into more detail later on because I do, do, I do, uh, do uh, you know, GIF tutorials, right? So as I go along with my tutorials, I'm going to be pointing out some more stuff, you know what I mean? Um, and hopefully I'll do that soon because I haven't done anything lately. <laughs> So anyways, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.